we're adding another night of joy. I can't believe that that many people would really want to come out to another Christmas program. Do that many people really want to see this? I don't know if it just seems like it's, it's just not worth the effort. Where did you come from? How did you do that? I'm the ghost of Christmas past. No, you're Brian, Pastor Chris's assistant. Uh, pretty sure I'm the ghost of Christmas past. Okay. You gotta do Night of Joy. It's super important. You just need to be reminded of that. So you'll be visited by three Christmas ghosts. And I'm number one, ghost of Christmas past. How did we get out here? We traveled back in time to Bethlehem. The original Night of Joy. No. <laughs> hey, Mary, Joseph, how you doing? No, that's the playground right there. We're still in Lancaster. Bethlehem. Look, Night of Joy is a great opportunity for people to come out and be reminded of why we celebrate Christmas. He's the reason for the season. Having folks come out and journey back to Bethlehem, see the nativity in person with live animals and townsfolk, it's an important reminder we all need. Oh, shalom, my friends. I am following the star to see the promised Messiah. James? No, 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 my friend. I am Chaimen, the shepherd. Don't bring that thing in the music office. Oh, but he's, he's just so cute. No. Uh. How is he doing that? Hi, I'm the ghost of Christmas present. Hi, Amy. No, I'm the ghost, ghost of, of Christmas, Christmas present. present. Right. Night of Joy is an amazing night for fellowship. Out here on Grace Walk, after the concert, we are going to have some sweet refreshments that everyone can enjoy. And I heard there might even be a little snow in the forecast. It is a special time that has become a sweet family tradition for many of our families here at Grace Chapel, as well as many families in the Antelope Valley that are looking for a fun and festive way to celebrate Christ with others. It also provides amazing opportunities for anyone in Grace Chapel to serve, whether that's with decorations or with refreshments. A lot of Grace Chapel memories are made here at Night of Joy, and you're right, it's a great way for the whole church to work together and work on something that blesses not only the church body, but the local community. That's right. Merry Christmas. Thank you. I suppose I'll be visited by the ghost of Christmas future now. What is that? That's not our concert music. What's going on in there? That is not Night of Joy. This is not our concert. What's going on? It's true. Many people come to Night of Joy to hear traditional Christmas music. Where else can you go to hear a live choir, orchestra, handbells, and more for free? Without a ministry like Night of Joy, who knows what kind of Christmas concerts people will go to. Night of Joy is a major outreach event for the whole church family that they can contribute to. I hope it is not too late. You there, boy, what day is it? November 11th, you say? Why, that's Global Connect. Then I haven't missed it. There's still time. Hey, Joel, I need to see you in my office. Sure. It's time for Night of Joy. And this year, we're holding five programs in four nights. There are plenty of ways for you to be involved in this church-wide ministry event and outreach to our community. Inside your bulletin is a special Night of Joy Connect card where you can check off an area that you might be interested in serving in. This is a great first step to ministry service that you can do with your whole family at one of the nights or all of them. Simply turn the card into the offering plate, hand it to an usher, or turn it in at the welcome desk. We will follow up with you and discuss how you can make your best contribution. We look forward to ministering alongside you this Christmas season at Night of Joy.